Khabib is one of the best fighters to do it. Definitely one of the most spectacular, one of the most interesting too with his fighting style and kind of made his own wave, right, with the Dagestani handcuffs and different a different type of wrestling that we didn't really see too much prior. But saying that Khabib is in the top five greatest of all time or that he's the GOAT is crazy because it's not it's not even close. Now, I'm going to go over why Khabib is not the GOAT. He, he's not. Let's just get into it, man, because I'm sick of people putting Khabib top five. He, he, even I can see top ten. I can, I can kind of see top ten, but top five is crazy. So first of all, right, I'm not even... We all know the arg obvious argument. I'm going to save that one. But people, he fought, right? So I'm going to give you guys an example here. So Khabib, right? In his 13th fight, I believe it was. It was around that. It was around his 11, 12, 13, one of those, right? So he's fought 12 other guys. Let's just say he's fought 12 other guys professionally, right? In MMA. He was fighting guys that were like 0 and 3, 0 and 4, 0 and 5. If you compare that to like GSP's 13th fight, you know, some of the other people in the GOAT conversation, like John Jones, his 13th fight, it doesn't come close. It doesn't compare, right? So with that being said, I'm just saying, Khabib, yes, he was undefeated. Yes, he was 29 and 0. But if you go back, and look at his actual record, uh, who, he, who he was beating. He kind of has like a boxing type of padded record. It's, it's, it's not looking good for Khabib because he was 13 and 0 fighting literal like 0 and 3 people, 0 and 2 people, like people that he shouldn't he shouldn't have been fighting. He had the Floyd the Floyd Mayweather padded uh, stat sheet going on, right? He, he might he might as well have been fighting people like like Jake Logan Paul. Khabib's best wins, right? Justin Gaethje, Dan, uh, Dustin Poirier. I said I almost said Daniel. <laughs> We're talking about Daniel Cormier later. Justin, oh my gosh, Justin Gaethje, Dustin Poirier, Connor. That doesn't hold up. It just doesn't hold up. If you look at any other people that you're trying to call the GOAT, maybe other than Dem Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson, who even then I think Demetrius's win over Cejudo still trumps, I I think all these wins. Yeah, let me know what you think. But Gaethje, Poirier, and Connor are Khabib's most notable wins, right? Connor was a good win. People say he was washed then. I, that was, we didn't know he was washed, right? I, I don't even think Connor's washed now. He's definitely not as good as he used to be, but saying he's washed is kind of pushing it, right? He still, he still has, I think he could beat Chandler. Anyways, I digress. Look, Connor, right? This was what, he, after the Floyd Mayweather fight, he came back. So this was Connor after he beat up Eddie Alvarez. No one knew how, it, you know, boxing would affect him, but he still wasn't washed. Connor actually looked relatively good in the Khabib fight. He actually, uh, I believe he won the third round against Khabib. So that, that Connor win was really good. The Dustin Poirier win, really good. Dustin Poirier is one of the best lightweights ever, right? Not one of the goats, but one of the best lightweights ever. Not, you know, not of the, all of MMA, but anyway, Gaethje, really good win. That, that win is aged well too, right? Gaethje just beat Poirier. Gaethje's looking good. But if you compare it to people like John Jones, the people John Jones beat, the people Anderson Silva beat, the people, any of the goats, any, name your goat, right? They definitely have a better resume than could be. And that speaking of resume, I already know you guys know I'm going to bring this argument up. Tino, it doesn't, he, he, let, let, let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. This, this goes in with it, right? Speaking of resume, if his best wins are Gaethje, Poirier, and Connor compared to champions like, uh, shoot, I think even, I, I can even argue that Adesanya has a better, a better, uh, you know, list of people he's beaten. I'm sorry. I know. I know it's crazy to say the middleweight division has kind of been lackluster in the last few years, but it is growing. People like Duplessis, uh, different people coming up do make uh, the middleweight division. It's getting better. It definitely is getting better. But, you know, I can argue that Adesanya is greater than Khabib Nurmagomedov. If y'all let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is Ad Israel Adesanya a better, a more great? Is he higher up on the GOAT list than Khabib? But let's get into it. Speaking of Khabib's resume, his defenses, I know you guys were going to say it, but just let me, hold on, just wait. Let me, let me read this down, right? Khabib, Khabib Nurmagomed Shetty Petoff, right? Khabib Nurmagomedov, right? He has three title defenses. That's not bad. That's not a bad thing. Uh, depending on your division, that can be an amazing, right? Like, uh, Stipe Nemiochis made history, I believe, like, what was it, three title defenses? That that was history in the heavyweight division. But but here's the thing. Let's talk about other goats. Talk about other goats. Jose Aldo, seven title defenses. Valentina Shevchenko, seven title defenses. Anderson Silva, 10 title defenses. And we all know Mighty Mouse, 11 title defenses. Now, so Anderson Silva, right, who many consider one of the goat top five, maybe top 10, definitely top 10, but top five, maybe, I don't know, but many people consider Anderson Silva one of the goats. Uh, he has 10 title defenses, right? That is the, what, one of the most title defenses, right? And, and Jose Aldo, take take away Jose Aldo's entire title defense run, his entire title run, right? His, enti his uh, entire title run, right? Take away Jose Aldo's entire title run, all the years he spent being champion, and then, and only then, Anderson Silva would equal the same amount of defenses as Khabib. It's not even, it's not even, it's crazy. It, it's he only has three title defenses, right? So it's just, it. you can't really say he was the GOAT because he doesn't have the resume. He was fighting plumbers when he was, he was fighting literal janitorial staff, right? Who, who, who referee, who referee high school wrestling matches in between their Uber drives, right? They're, when they, when they, when they, when they drive for Uber, right? But look, people will make the argument 
But Khabib, the way he dominated them, he dominated, listen, listen, my baby, pause, but listen, Khabib definitely did dominate people, he definitely had an amazing style, that was definitely, it was interesting, especially for the time, even now it's still really crazy and amazing what he would do, but who did he dominate? Glayson Tebow, or Glayson Tebow, whatever his name is, the, 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 the jobber, he, I think he beat Khabib, right? Khabib really didn't do anything in that fight and Khabib got taken down, but, but hear me out, who did Khabib dominate? Let's think about it. Glayson Tebow arguably beat him, right? Arguably did. People love bringing up Dominic Reyes and John Jones. Uh, you know, even embarrassing fights for like John Jones, like uh, like Anthony Linehart Smith, how he couldn't, you know, finish the fight, right? But they never bring up Glayson Tebow arguably beating Khabib. But anyway, who did Khabib dominate? Connor, Connor, Dustin. And Justin. He dominated people like Barboza as well, one of his better wins, but that doesn't grant him. It's, it's just laughable, right? Saying that Khabib is one of the greatest of all time. I just don't, I don't know. And, and my final point as to why Khabib is not the greatest of all time, or could be not even top five, is that he wasn't the best at anything. He wasn't the best at anything. Look, if you look, I think John Jones is a better wrestler than Khabib Nurmagomedov. It sounds crazy, but who was Khabib out wrestling? Conor McGregor, Dustin Poirier, Justin Gaethje. None of these guys were the level of wrestler that someone like a Daniel Cormier was and John Jones was able to out wrestle Daniel Cormier. So all I'm saying is, right, take take George Rush St. Pierre. He was he was going up against high level wrestlers and he didn't even have a wrestling background. It is that is insane, right? He didn't even have a wrestling background. He was going over there and ragged all the people with their wrestling, right? World champion wrestlers. Now look, I'm not saying that could that you know out wrestling someone like someone like Justin Gaethje isn't impressive, but it, it's not to the same caliber as other people, right? Even uh, Demetrius Johnson, arguably not out wrestling, but using the wrestling against Henry Cejudo, who was an Olympic level uh, wrestler, right? So all I'm saying is, man, is that if you you can't say Khabib is the be the best of all time, you can't you can maybe you can try and say he's top five, but I, I don't know, though. I don't I don't see him being top five, right? You can list any of the cha uh, what you can list Aldo above him. You can list Shevchenko above. You can list Silva above him. Mighty Mouse, right? You can. There's a bunch of people you can list above him. Jones, right? But let's let's stop with the let's stop with the Khabib is top five, right? Top five, your favorite fighters. He can be your favorite fighter, but he's not the best of all time. He's just not. He's just not. You guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I think that making the argument that Khabib is the best is laughable. I think saying he's top five is still comical, but it's not as it's not as funny. But if you tell me he's the best. <laughs> He's not. I'm gonna smash you, boy. He's not the best. I'm sorry. But yeah, you guys, let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hit the like button. Uh, appreciate you guys.